Welcome to the tutorial on SSCR Error Code 32. Per the NSLDS, SSCR Error Code 32 is caused by a certification date on the record that is prior to a previous certification, and the anticipated graduation date, enrollment status, or status effective date is different from what was last reported. Error Code 32 occurs due to several reasons, which will be covered in depth in this tutorial. The first scenario for error code 32 is a direct update to NSLDS. For this scenario, the error code 32 is caused by NSLDS having a record with a newer certification date than the clearinghouse. Typically, this means that a direct update was made by someone at your school without the same update being made in the clearinghouse afterwards. The error 32 does not mean that the clearinghouse record is incorrect. It just means that NSLDS is seeing it as older than their data. Now we will go over a case study on this scenario. Samantha's student was attending Hometown University for spring 2018. Samantha ended up dropping all of her courses on February 21st, 2018. After Samantha dropped all of her courses, an employee at Hometown University updated NSLDS to report the withdrawn status for Samantha effective February 21st. However, the same withdrawn status was not reported to the clearinghouse. When the clearinghouse responded to the SSCR roster, the previously reported enrolled status for spring 2018 was reported. After reporting this to NSLDS, an error 32 was returned. So why was the error 32 returned? Since NSLDS was updated with the withdrawn status and the clearinghouse hadn't been updated yet, NSLDS had a record that was different and newer than what was reported through the SSCR process. Since NSLDS saw this record as older, it was rejected with an error 32. To resolve the error, review the student's record through the SSCR error correction platform and make any necessary updates so that the record reflects the update that was made in NSLDS. The next scenario for error code 32 is for conflicting status start dates. The error occurs in this situation due to NSLDS not accepting a record with a separated status with the same status effective date as an enrolled status that was previously reported. There are two main instances where this error will occur. The first is for students who withdraw prior to the census date and are not considered enrolled for the term. However, the enrollment status was sent to NSLDS prior to the student withdrawing. And second is for students who are on a leave of absence and did not return. Now we will go over a case study on this scenario. Frank Freshman is a new student at Hometown University. Frank was enrolled full-time for the spring term effective January 8, 2018. The full-time status was reported to the Clearinghouse and subsequently to NSLDS. Frank dropped all of his courses before the census date and was considered not enrolled for the term. After Frank dropped all of his courses, Hometown University reported Frank to the Clearinghouse as withdrawn effective 1-8-2018. After reporting this withdrawn status to NSLDS, an error 32 was returned. So why was the error code 32 returned? NSLDS will not accept a record with a separation status that has the same status effective date as a previously reported enrolled status. In this case, because the full-time and withdrawn statuses had the same effective date, NSLDS would not accept the withdrawn status and rejected the record with an error 32. To resolve the error, review the student's record through the SSCR error correction platform and update the status effective date to one day before or one day after the original effective date. This next scenario for error code 32 is for duplicated certification dates. This scenario typically only occurs for students who are in a withdrawn or graduated status. This is due to NSLDS needing two reports of a separated status with different certification dates in order to close out the student's record and remove them from the roster. The clearinghouse processes automatically send the second report of a separated status with a certification date from your last file. However, depending on the timing of files and other updates, occasionally NSLDS reporting happens again before the next file is processed, which can result in these errors. Now we will go over a case study on this scenario. Sarah Sr. is a recent graduate from Hometown University. Sarah's graduated status was successfully reported to the clearinghouse and was then reported to NSLDS through the SSCR process. After reporting this graduated status to NSLDS, an error code 32 is returned.
So why was the error code 32 returned? NSLDS will not accept a duplicated record without a different certification date. In the case of this student, the graduation status was sent to NSLDS twice with the same certification date. The error in this scenario is typically self-resolving on the next report to NSLDS as long as there was a new enrollment file processed. You can also recertify the record through the SSCR error report by submitting the record as is. This will assign it a new certification date, which should resolve the error. Our next scenario occurs when a student has a graduated status at NSLDS, but a withdrawn status in the clearinghouse. The error 32 occurs because NSLDS processes will not allow them to ingest a withdrawn status through the SSCR batch process when there is a previously reported graduated status, and there is no active enrollment in between. Now we will go over a case study on this scenario. Gina Graduate recently graduated from Hometown University. The graduated status was updated directly in NSLDS. However, a withdrawn status was reported to the clearinghouse. After reporting this withdrawn status to NSLDS, an error 32 was returned. So why was the error 32 returned? NSLDS will not accept a record with a withdrawn status since there is a previously reported graduated status. To resolve the error, first review the student's record through the SSCR error correction platform and determine what the student's separation status is at your school. If the student did graduate, Use the SSCR error correction platform to update the student to reflect the correct graduated status and the effective date for the graduated status. If the student did not graduate, then a direct update to NSLDS will be needed to correct the error. Since NSLDS will not accept the withdrawn status from the clearinghouse, another direct update to NSLDS is needed to successfully report the withdrawn status to them. After updating NSLDS with the withdrawn status, wait at least 24 hours, and then do the same update in our system. This will help to prevent the error 32 from coming up again for the first scenario we discussed. Our next error 32 scenario occurs when the status effective date for a previously reported withdrawn status is changed. NSLDS will not accept two back-to-back -back withdrawn statuses with different status effective dates if there is no active enrollment between them. Now we'll go over a case study on this scenario. Jenna Jr. recently withdrew from Hometown University on May 1, 2019. The withdrawn status was reported to the Clearinghouse and subsequently to NSLDS. Hometown University updated the withdrawn status to a status effective date of May 5, 2019. After reporting the new withdrawn date to NSLDS, an error 32 was returned. So why was the error 32 returned? NSLDS will not accept a change in the status effective date for a withdrawn status if there was no active enrollment between the two withdrawn statuses. To resolve the error, first review the student's record through the SSCR error correction platform and determine the correct withdrawn date for the student. If the new withdrawn date is correct, update the record to the previous enrolled status and allow that information to go out to NSLDS prior to adding the withdrawn status with the new status effective date. If the new withdrawn date is not correct, update the record to reflect the previous withdrawn date. Our last scenario for error code 32 is Z status records, and these typically only occur at the beginning of a new term. Error 32s come up for this reason when NSLDS includes a new student on a school's roster prior to when the school reported the student to the clearinghouse. Since the student is not in the clearinghouse system, a Z status for student not found is reported to NSLDS. Then, when the enrollment file that the student is on is processed and loaded into our system, if the certification date is prior to the certification date of the Z record and is reported to NSLDS, the error 32 is returned. Now we will go over a case study on this scenario. Ben Batchelor is a new student at Hometown University. Hometown University reports Ben as full-time on their first of term file, which is reported to NSLDS. After reporting this enrolled status to NSLDS, an error 32 was returned. So why was the error code 32 returned? The error was returned because NSLDS was sent a Z status prior to when Hometown University reported Ben as enrolled, and the certification date on Ben's record was before the certification date of the Z status. Errors for this scenario are typically self-resolving once the next enrollment file is received and processed. 
They can also be resolved, like many of the other Error 32 scenarios, by recertifying the record through the SSCR error correction platform. However, typically the Error 32s in this scenario come in large amounts, so manual updates may not be possible. Now we will go over how to review and correct a student's record. On the next page, go under the NSLDS Reporting tab, the most recent reports at the top of the list. Click on the hyperlinked number under the Number of Students with Errors column to access the list of students with errors. This will bring you to the list of students with errors. Click on the hyperlink to SSN for the student with error code 32 that needs to be corrected. The next page will show the student's editable record. Update the enrollment information as needed, and after updating the record, click the green Submit button to send the record to the clearinghouse for processing. For additional assistance correcting SSCR error code 32, please reach out to us at sscrerrors at studentclearinghouse.org.